Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. So there's been this argument going on perpetually in the comp community where people claim to use sound and that they're not cheating, which in my experience is mostly the case. But the point of this video is to hopefully clear up some misunderstanding and allow you as a viewer to know if someone is using an equalizer or if they're actually cheating. I think first it's best to understand how sound actually works now as there's been numerous changes over time like for example how you used to be able to hear people completely across the map but now the way it works is pretty much like a hard range so if you were to visualize that you would draw a circle around your character that's give or take around 30 or 40 studs I don't exactly know the skill factor but that's probably around it. But what would this look like in an actual first person scenario? Well, I decided to test it out. So here I have my friend go under the awning of Matrix and straight back and forth to demonstrate uh, how loud the footsteps are and the hard range. You'll see me going back and forth where sometimes I can hear him and other times I can't. Also, the audio here isn't boosted in my editing software and as well I wasn't recording with the equalizer. So this is just the raw audio. Take a listen. You could hear him pretty good, but honestly, like in practice, without an equalizer, it's very quiet. So the question of what equalizer, personally, I've been using FX sound with these settings up on screen. Uh, I don't know if I should be leaking this, but I think it's fine at this point because there's a lot of other methods you can do to sound that people know about. Also, I'm using loudness equalization and bass boost in the Windows settings, so you may want to use those if it isn't working that great for you. But yeah, here's the same scenario with my equalizer turned on. But obviously that's not a very practical situation and the only reason why I showed that was so you could get a basic understanding of how sound works. So now let's take a look at some scenarios you might actually run into where you'd be predicting people without actually seeing them. Okay, so here I'm sitting at small doors on Assault and I can actually hear uh, somebody who would be walking through cars which is very useful in 2v2s because then you could give your teammate a call out or rush them if somebody wasn't sniping on rails. So yeah, take a listen. Another example on Assault is where when you walk up the stairs to rails, you can actually tell uh, like where people would be on top of it. And as well, this would also increase your survivability in 2v2s, which would be very useful. Okay, so now rather than looking at some more basic examples, I wanted to show a clip from an actual comp 1v1 on Sandtown. And I really like this one because it shows how when you use the process of elimination with sound, uh, it can help you make decisions. And in this case, I did indeed make the right one. So as you can see, it's mid game. Um, I got kind of trapped up here on Picnic Roof. This was back in October and I didn't really know what I was doing. I had the equalizer on, but that did not save me. And as you see here, I will get punished for it. So at this point I'm thinking, okay, where could he go? So I saw him rotating down to the right. And right around here is where he makes a mistake. If you were to look at the map overhead, based on the direction I saw him traveling and as well the possibilities of just where he could be in that amount of time, that means that he couldn't be here, 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 or really anywhere else except the underway passage next to plane wing. But what about this circle here? How would I not know that he would just be in the one on the right and not the one on the left? Well, if we zoom out a little bit more and now take into account the sound proximity range, if you replay the clip, uh, you can actually hear that he swings his knife. So that's what told me which one of these two areas he would be in. As well, when you see me walking up the ramp here, I'm already aiming at the point where the other area could be until I hear the little sound which tells me which angle he is. Now I just have to put my cross here in the right spot. And there we go, that's the kill. But doesn't this sound familiar from somewhere? Well, yeah, I'm actually getting it from Proud Camp as this was his like idea in the first place and he's been doing this for a while now. How to do something called aspect ratioing. Now he's not talking about the ratio of your screen size, but rather this is actually a name for this playstyle when you use sound and predictions. 
with a bit of process of elimination to figure out exactly where people are. Uh, rather than trying to explain it myself, um, why don't we just do this uh, maze interview style. Hey guys, proud Kev. <laughs> Aspect ratioing is probably the number one play style for 1v1s and 2v2s. It's practically just checking off places where you think people would or would not be and only aiming at people uh, like through where you're hearing them would be. And using this can actually make it so you're having like artificial ESP and doing this in any other situations where it's like a 1v1 or a 2v2 is probably best for you uh or you could just use esp yeah don't actually do that but that was a very good explanation of how this play style works when you are like mentally checking off places where the enemy could be and uh correlating that with your sound so you could just get a really good mind map and predictions of where the other player uh, will end up being like i said earlier the whole point of all of this is just to get the closest thing possible to esp without actually cheating but yeah thank you proud for coming on and talking about it but back to the original point of this video, which was to hopefully inform you guys on how to discern ESP from sound. So I have a bit of a challenge for you. Here are two comp clips. One of them is from a Glessic tournament, and then the other one is someone else's personal clip. And both of these have been called out for ESP quite a numerous amount of times. So I want to see if you can figure out which one is cheats and which one is legit. Leave which one you think it is in the comments below, and I will reveal the answer on my community page in a few days. So you should subscribe to see that notification when it first comes out but anyways these are the clips they're probably gonna hide though oh. right now let's see the sounding all right all right look at, look at this right. the couch it. <laughs> what is this bro he's, he's, stealthy. he's making it stealthy okay okay not bad not bad oh you can't even see the oh, wait what <laughs> what <laughs> Okay, but that is going to wrap it up for this video. I am very curious to see the results of this little experiment, and yeah, I will see you all later. Peace.